Hello and welcome back to another episode of Gears Tactics. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing our blind playthrough on insane difficulty. It's time for Act 2, Chapter 8 and that is potentially the final mission. Trapped is the name of the game. We are fighting against another boss. And so far we have um, only lost against the first boss. Other than that each of the missions uh, went according to plan. So I'm fully thinking that uh, given... I'm not aware of, of the mechanics of the boss. We might see another disaster here. But maybe I'm wrong with that. Let's see how well we're going to do. This team here certainly is the best we can field. So let's give them hell. Okay, trap set. Now we've just got to wait. And hope that Ukon's as desperate for those canisters as I think he is. Let's do this. <clears throat> Control, this, this is, is Alpha, Alpha 2. 2. Go ahead, Alpha 2. Found a UIR truck, truck full of medical canisters, canisters just, just north of MTIC. It, it says Nadroma Health, Health Institute. Institute. No use to us, Alpha 2. Leave it and move on. Control out. You're sure Ukon listens in on comms? Oh, I'm positive. Oh, what a trap. Getting in this truck and driving away. Oh no, you're not. Stop! Stop! I'm taking care of this my way. And what way is that? The backstabbing lunatic way? You wanna be stupid? Go ahead. Shoot. Like we planned it. Corpser. Multiple attack types. Explosive damage will raise the leg. If she and that's a corpser. Buckle up. These things are nasty. But who's the bigger threat? It or Sid? Can't think about that now. Just target the corpser. Okay, so, 4,000 in large target, plus 60% accuracy when shooting, explosive vulnerability, extra damage from explosives. Well, should have brought the scout then. I'm listening. Here I go. That seems like high ground. I like high ground. Oh, 
Moving Jack up. Extra damage and Keep it up, the Jack. coordinated option. Good, so what are our chances? A hundred, a hundred, and a hundred. All right, let's start with a hundred uh, back here. Besides, let's get a greater crit chance. And whilst we're at it, get after it now. Another twenty percent. Yeah. Okay, we're loaded now. We crit, that's a one shot. Pretty good. Need some ammo. Very good. And very good. Okay, we're still having four actions right there. That's one. Guns going dry. That's two. Defense is down. Hit him now. Okay, so far so good. Take care of this guy over here. Tank goes to the front line. I, I imagine he will turn around and detect the nearest target. I had that already once. Move into cover. Reloading. Here. Reloading. Nice little hit. And another critical hit. Okay, so far so good. First turn looks decent. On stamp. Just when we thought we had it. I mobile. Moving over here, so everybody gets that nice little crit aura. Moving up. Taking an, an extra aura here. Shall we, shall we give us, uh, mm, you know what, no, we're going to use the reload uh, when needed. shot and how many hit points are th are left can i see that no can't All these. the ultimate shot doesn't work against this guy might as well take a normal shot Let's start with high powered shot. Almost out. We 
seems this guy is not counterattacking. Currently we have 75% less damage, so might as well use the time to reposition over here. We're clumped up, which is not that good. Jack uses the time to reload everyone's weapon. Typically at those breakpoints something happens. and you fucked it up my head hurts too much for this bullshit focus on the corpse sir all right moving up grenade confirms and back into cover i'm listening Two actions. Are two actions enough? Yes, they are. To get back here. Question is this but still potentially a dangerous zone? Uh. here everybody gets their extra action point and Jack's just going to hide copy I'm listening Moving over. At the same time, let's place a couple more grenades here. Good work. And we're spreading out. grenade like how much damage is that to him okay. good we're simply moving out of here And a nice Got little which just in case they're moving into that direction. And Sid really tries to make sure that whatever is coming out of there. On the move. Drops are coming from all angles. Close that e hole. Wait, what? It immediately closed? Wait, what? They came out and it immediately closed? Mines! Steer clear! Well, perfect. Now we don't Steer know which one is which. It's getting yep. better and better. Lock and load. All in! Let's go!
50% extra damage for everyone. Get Two extra now. actions for our heavy. As he moves around everyone. Let's and go. then starts to open up yes. the evasion reduction, which is. which I was hoping we could get from here. But that is not the case. I think this was our grenade, right? Yeah, this was ours. Ready. Good, moving all the way over here. And we're sharing a cooldown reduction. Not exactly what I was hoping we would share. Anyways. One. Two. Three, four, opens up. Now, fire while it seals down. Yeah, the explosion will not really work. Let's do it. An extra hit. That's a crit. Another crit. Gotta reload. Uh, a crit would not be enough to hit it, really. This here is starting to become Ready a bit more. nasty. Roger that. Good, nicely out of range and keep it up, Jack. Well, we can't get around there. Oh boy. Reducing its evasion, extra shot. Orders. Unfortunately, we hit Jack. I think he's still okay, though. Yeah, Jack took minimal damage. Death warrant. Target that crane. Good. That's it. Keep targeting that crane. Tough. Hey. Well, I mean, we have 100% hit chance, but unfortunately not a really good crit chance. Gonna need some ammo. I'm out. Good, got to reload. Gotta reload. Let's see what 
they got. Get out of the way! Multiple life slams incoming! Heavy on standby. Moving out. Good, we're moving out. By the way, that is still ours. I keep forgetting it. <laughs> and we can help to reload the heavy. Not needed. Might as well just give him more damage. Sweet. And power is not ready. You know what? We're going to use the pistol this turn. We can reload next turn. I'm here. Moved a bit, 50% extra damage. Continuing to hit it. This boss seems more straightforward than the last one. What's next? Almost out. I'm out. Good Gabe here is going to reload. We do have a problem. Ever so slowly he's Careful. producing more and more mines. Changing position. Everybody here needs to reload. Out. Heavy on standby. We'll this go. is still ours. I'm here. Good, we got an improved critical chance over there, thanks to the aura. as well get everybody in he over here ready let's hand the extra back. actions over to our heavy he typically is the highest average dps Nice little crit there. Mm. Ah, chef kiss. All right. Target eliminated. Nice goddamn work. Would you please explain to me what the fuck that was? You owe me an answer. 
I don't know you shit. <laughs> Tensions in the group. Tensions in the group. I trust you have better news this time, Diaz. We had Ukon. And then your man tried to escape with him. And where is Major Redburn now? Detained. Unfortunate. But you've cornered Ukon once. You can do it again. As for Major Redburn, the penalty for treason is death. I leave the method to you. Get any answers from your tyrant, buddy? Just more questions. As goddamn usual. What did you want with Ukon? You want to eat more shovel? Talk. Fine. Right in there, then. Should have shot you when I had the chance. Oh boy, tensions are at the extreme. It's a good storytelling though. I appreciate how it has twisted and turned. And the fight was fun as well. Easier than the first boss. Patrol. 30% overwatch damage unit will automatically reload. Hmm. I mean, she's not good in overwatching, but that would make the overwatch relatively good. Can we give that to our heavy? It would be a perfect option for the heavy. Good. Sit here, who has just betrayed us. The leech really didn't have a... We really didn't have a good showing of leech so far. Spot regeneration might be a better ability. But let's think that through. Maybe the better way to go is the intimidate route. Maybe my paladin build from the beginning actually was shite. 50% damage reduction is still good, but I've it's only within 10 meters and he's never with the group. The problem with all of these skills is I assume we would always cluster up together, but that is a bad idea. It is actually better to use him to move and go in. Now all of this here is no regret, but if we were to go into this direction, I think the Intimidate is good. Whenever he kills an enemy, Bayonet Charge reduced by one is fantastic. This isn't bad as well, because he will need to go in with Bayonet Charge. And effectively this here makes the Bayonet Charge free. So we could go like this. Uh, that that one is not so good. I'm, I'm just guessing. I don't know. Well, it is an option against the 70% damage reduction. So. And this year, I think level 2 is sufficient. What what else do we have up here? You can kill an enemy with a bayonet charge. All enemies gain minus 20 accuracy. That's good. Bayonet charge. 
All of this unit skills have cooldowns reduced by one. Hmm. I could see a world where Intimidate into more damage reduction. Then you do have Bionet Charge reduction here. With the points that we had, we could be all the way up to Intimidate 2. And Breach seems to be really, really decent. This here seems bad because we're we shouldn't take a lot of damage this here is good the paladin uh, par path but we're not standing together and leech so far has proven to be underwhelming so this into demoralize into charged up and breach and essentially recharging bayonet would mean you're charging in maybe even free bayonet and ignoring that this here in itself hmm. actually not ignoring that look if we had this 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 and this we would charge in with a bayonet get 20 percent damage reduction can intimidate right afterwards immediately one turn reduce so that's effectively uh, that's effectively a an uh, cooldown of three turns this is a cooldown of two turns and whenever we're killing someone it is almost ready immediately plus 95 percent damage reduction after the charge for the first shot and then 20 for everything else he has 10 percent on his helmet so he's not taking any damage on the first shot afterwards which is quite good yes bayonet charge doesn't always work i get that but i think even without it removing all of the enemies Alice who down or kill a breached enemy gain one action and heal for 20%. This is essentially just like leech, but in a better way because they don't need to stand right next to them. I tell you what, we're resetting this. We have plenty of those reset tokens and when an enemy is damaged by a shot from this unit, we're healing. Alternatively, we're just regenerating. I don't know, the leech look good on paper. We're just not shooting that often. However, we do have that critical, automatically critical chance uh, once we have charged in, so maybe that's a mistake. So I think this here was still sound. Well, below 50 health, gain evasion, that's great. And badass is just badass. Okay, so that is good. We're still having four skill points, right? And we want to intimidate. Yes. The damage, additional damage reduction, yes. We got demoralize. Not sure how good that is yet. And this here is pretty good because it's 20% more damage and we get everybody out of cover. Next up, charged up and breach and then eventually recharging bayonet and maybe free bayonet, who knows. This is also a nice skill. So maybe this and this and then we're just taking those two the passives here, I figured, aren't that bad. Uh, they are actually quite good. So a bit of an adjustment here. As for you. Oh, we got some some more options here. This looks a bit like kind of a medieval knight. Cool. Yeah, I like it. He has grown some hair. 
over the course of the missions. Good, now we got we got that damage reduction which helped us out a lot. Cooldowns were reduced. I think we wanted to dig in and go that explosive route. Passive skill, frag grenades, shell shock. Yeah, that was good. That isn't bad either. When you take a shot and target targets that are not covered, uh, not in cover or flanked, fifteen percent critical hit chance. That is great. Maybe that heat up isn't bad either. It gives you automatically one action and it's essentially a 25% damage buff. Because the explosions, eh, they are okay, but not fantastic. The overwatch is great. Anchor status, great. Overwatch skill reduction, great. But here we would have 25, 15% uh, crit chance um, for free. That isn't bad either because it makes anchored better. But I think I'll take the crit chance. How about we're going uh, down this direction and then we do have maybe heat and drag this shot too. This is even better because heat essentially lets you reload. So that's one level, this is the second level, and then ultra shot seems awesome. So, reckless shot it is, and strategic positioning. Changing the builds just a tiny bit, it's not that I am unhappy, but it uh, so tends to be that in some of the boss fights he needs to deal more damage and that would have been 15% on top of it which so far would have made the fight even faster good and that brings us to act three guys um, and a big thank you for sticking with me for so long if you enjoy what you've seen feel free to leave a comment and a like down below that always helps the channel and see you in the next episode. Bye bye.